talking about this uh this game last week against Cincy, was there anything they did defensively that surprised you guys? Going into the game, no. Just a lack of execution. Mm. Like and I know based off the scoreboard that might be surprising to people. But you know, when you play a catch up at the beginning like we did, it's a very, very like when they when they take that huge of a, a lead in the National Football League, pass rushers sit back and lick their chops. Absolutely. Defensive coordinators love it because you can give all the complex stuff. You know how it goes. Um, but explaining it to the to the fans and to the audience right now, man, it's just that's you cannot look. It's an it's a team that the Cincinnati Bengals have been a team that have showed a consistent pass. And yeah, they've had like, you know, some troubles in the last couple of years. I know they made the playoffs and everything, but like, see, I'm talking about, you know, when I was in high school and right, you right. guys were all fighting them and every death when you were still playing. <laughs> yo, and yo, why you got to say you was in high school? Like you making me sound super old over here. I like chill to, out. I always have to remind you how old you are, Moti. <laughs> like, you and yo, Ramon, that's crazy. I always have to remind you too how old you are. Uh, but dude, it's just like, like that team is, is, playing in you know the best division in football afc north and they have their goals they are motivated by their past and we got caught in that Mm -hmm. you know what i mean we got caught in in a in a perfect storm for them and a horrible storm for us and we were just never never able to fight our way out of it um like you the original question was is there anything that surprised you yeah because we were able to let them get into what they were like okay we're up a couple scores and defensive coordinators, complex looks, different things. Nothing we haven't seen before, but those blitz and those, you know what I mean? Those mm-hmm. those those uh those situations are very, very difficult for any NFL team to go against. And we put ourselves in the, we we can only blame ourselves for that. No. Yeah. Nah, man, I like that though, man. And I can understand the accountability with it too. Now, when yeah. we talk about as frustrating as that game was, right? Especially for you guys, are there any positive takeaways though from the offense's performance? To be honest with you, no. And I don't want to look at a Debbie down. Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are pros and cons at the end of any game. But at the same time, that big of a loss, and from an offensive perspective, because, you know, I only talk about the offense. Like, 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 that's just not what we should do. Like, that's just bottom line. I mean, Mm -hmm. it's really hard to talk about. You got to keep it short and simple. Just wasn't what we wanted to do. Today is uh, brought to you by Manscaped. Yeah, shout out to Manscaped. Even picking it up on a Zach Banner Tuesday. That's how you know they super cool. And not just the fact they're super cool, but they're the leaders in the below the waistline grooming, which makes them that much more awesome. Because we know below the waistline grooming is very, very important, especially during this season. Because you know what season it is right now? Holiday season. Or we like to call it cuffing season and you never want to be not groomed when it's cuffing season ladies and gentlemen so with that being said you know the best thing to do is use that promo code and in the words of some of our awesome people put the code on everything all right promo code is moats use that man you get 20 percent off your purchase along with free shipping worldwide so definitely don't miss out on them and all the awesome things they got going on over at manscaped